page and, and uh, her uh, beloved husband, they were married for 30 years. And they had uh, so many dreams about their children, about their family. It was unfinished. And they were preparing for the wedding of their uh, other son. And uh, that also, as it is told, they had only the engagement term. They were looking forward to that wedding. And it is up to come. And that also is a very painful one. And uh, the children, the two children are younger ones. And they are also, they are ready to graduate and uh, um, establish their life. So many expectations she had. That's why I was thinking it is an untimely death. Later, just uh, I felt a voice I'm hearing. Was my death timely or untimely? I was only 33 years old. I was very healthy. I was walking around doing the will of God, proclaiming the good news. And uh, suddenly I had to die on the cross with all the sufferings. Was it timely or untimely? Then I realized it is God's plan as Jesus said, Father, that your will be done. That's what Gigi also said, that God's will be done. Always in her life, she looked forward to God's will and she fulfilled God's will in her life. I know her, that family, my the family, for 20 years. Many occasions I have gone there. And uh, just to say, summarize in uh, one word about Gigi, she is a gift from God to that family. And she took care of everything as a gentleman, the family affairs, and uh, the workplace, everybody loved him, allowed her because of what she was. She was so gentle, so loving, so caring for everybody. And so she was a gift to that family. And also, she, got, she was a gift person. Many gifts she had, or uh, uh, many of the gifts I just mentioned at the homily. Always I was uh, uh, surprised to see her gifts or maybe our educational qualifications, our relationships with the family and friends, or uh, her uh, achievements at the workplace, or uh, um, her uh, artworks, many of the arts are displayed, uh, you saw us today and today maybe there. So she was a really gifted person. But uh, what was important for me, what just struck me was, uh, she was down to the earth person. She never posted herself or even said a word. I have got so many qualities in this. Down to her person. So humble in her words and deeds. Of course, she was very jovial. Everything there, but she was very humble. And I can see that one. These things were possible because she loved God. And that love radiated in her actions, in her words. And so it is going to be a great loss for children and uh, all the family members. And uh, it is uh, very sad that uh, she won't be there for marriage. She won't be there on the dance floor. But you can be sure her blessings will be there from a uh, uh, worldly level to the celestial level. She has started her life in heaven. So definitely he will be getting many blessings for the family and all who are dear, dear to uh, her and just continue to pray for, pray for her and pray for all the families, those
are here and those who are in India, they are suffering more because they cannot come and participate here. And so just uh, let God's blessings uh, help them so they can overcome all these pains. And uh, the greatest hope is that Gigi is in the heavenly presence. That's why Jesus Christ said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And uh, Jesus has prepared a place for her, a special place in the presence of God. And she will be enjoying that uh, uh, eternity, that glorified life there. And definitely her blessings will be upon us. May God bless us in the Father and in the Son and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for coming here to celebrate the beautiful life of our mother. My mother was a very selfless woman. She always cared about the needs and wants of others before herself. Even in the final stages of her life. When she didn't even eat or drink on her own, if anybody ever brought her any food or something to drink, she always made sure that person had ate something or drank something. And if they were hungry or thirsty, she definitely would not accept whatever they were giving her until they ate or drank. Even with me, because I was taking summer classes, took organic chemistry at the beginning of the summer, and my mom, being the chemist that she was, very eager to help me. After every class, I would come home. She would make me give her my notebook so she could go learn whatever I was taught in class that day, so she could later tutor me, despite the challenges she was facing. Even though she was fighting for her life, what mattered to her most was making life easier for me. Also, that's why I'm not over self spirit. I want to start off by thanking everybody here today. Not just for being here, but being with us. Ever since her mom was originally diagnosed with cancer, we truly do appreciate it, and we don't know what we'd do without you. In particular, we'd like to thank Teresa Menti, a monthly figure for all of us. We're so appreciative of everything you do. Taking care of our mom multiple times during the day. Coming with us to all of our appointments. Being the support we desperately needed. Allowing her to be her original progress of two months back in November. And giving us, as a family home, to spend an extra year with her as her original prognosis. You truly are an angel for our family. We, we all love you so much. We'd also like to thank Biju and Mini Jason and the rest of our family for the funeral arrangements and being the support we desperately needed during this time. It's times like this we really realize how amazing our family and our community is. We're so thankful. And most importantly, we'd like to thank our dad. Words can't express how much love me, Jensen and Jim have for you. The amount of sacrifices you've made in the past year. With no complaints. You only hope to be half the father and husband that you are. We may not tell you all the time, but us three love and admire you with all of our heart. The same love and admiration that we have for our mates and mother. We love and miss you so much. Thank you for so much. As Jared mentioned, God bless us with the additional time to spend with our mom with their early diagnosis. And those memories we created, they're truly priceless. Those memories, as well as all the memories throughout our lives, we're so blessed to have such a kind-hearted woman. She, she greatly cared for all of us, our family, friends, even our pets, the children, the multiple children she sponsored through with the food for the poor. Even our pets are one bird, the older than I am. The, time, the lifespan of this bird is 10 years. But she's, with her care and compassion, I believe is the reason that these animals our friends, our family, the reason that we are who we are today. 
basically, like Jared mentioned, even when she was so sick, when I came from home from work, the first thing she had before I even, I even got to ask her anything, the first thing she asked, how, how was your day? Did you eat anything? Before I even get to ask her, she managed to be so cheerful, even while she was so sick. And I never understood how she did that. She was so strong. She was so talented in everything that she did. She excelled in her education, her artistic talents. She was a master's in chemistry. She won three times the, Detroit, the city of Detroit art, art competition with her oil paintings. She truly made us who we are, and above all, was her parent. She made us truly who we are. As they say, cherish time with your parents and your family. The saying is often overlooked, and unfortunately, we won't really understand the true meaning of it until the time has come. This week, as we look back at her pictures, share the memories with her, we realize the importance of time with our loved ones. It's so easy to assume that our loved ones will be around for us for a long time. That's just another reminder to take the opportunity to love them as much as you can in the present moment. Our mom was literally the strongest person we knew. She fought cancer for seven years as she went through three rounds of chemotherapy, as well as two rounds of oral cancer medication. There have been countless times when we were blown away by the passion and strength she demonstrated to accomplish what she wanted in life. These last few days, I was upset that we wouldn't be able to celebrate our mom's birthday with her next week. Or my, or my wedding later this month. But I keep reminding my brothers, our dad, and myself, she's in a better place without all the suffering. I'm grateful for everything God allowed her to attend in the last couple of months. To she's bridal shower in Chicago, and even our engagement ceremony here at this church, three days before my mom passed. As sad as I am, I'm also happy. Happy she'll be able to enjoy her birthday next week, and even my wedding from heaven with no suffering. Mom was the most prepared person that I know. Even when she was sick, it didn't matter. She would ask about wedding planning all the time. She would ask us how many people she could invite. And then we'd always tell her, you can pray whoever you want. But these next few weeks, as we finalize our head counts here, I know she'll be finalizing the head counts in I also want to reiterate what Jennifer and Jared said. Thank your dad for everything he's done for us. He went through everything that he did.